Hi everyone, in this short video I'd like to talk about an update for Perspective Tools 2.4. To start, it's possible now to restore paths for warped layers and the perspectified layers. In this example I want to warp to these layers to the same coordinates. So first I create a path, then I warp my first layer, and while it is still selected, I can hit Fix Path to restore the path that was used to warp the layer. And now I'm just selecting the other layer and hit Warp again, so they have the same transformations now. This is especially useful when working with the perspective, and I'm going to demonstrate now. So I want to unfold this uh, circular, circle, circular window thing. I want to unfold it to flat rectangular image to paint inside the circle later. To do this, I first create two sets of uh, perspective grids, trying to figure out what parallel lines in the image best to use for my grids. Now I think it worked. Uh, and then I'll just create a semi-random quadrangle and use fix uh, to constrain this quadrangle with perspective. And now when it's perfectly aligned, I'm going to hide my grids and hit the perspective. The problem is, because this is a photo and it had some distortion from lenses, the perspective failed to restore right proportions. And uh, this is not a circle, but more like an ellipse. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to restore the proportions of this temporary layer uh, so the circular part will be an actual circle. But here's the problem. When I hit save, the size of the smart object in the document will change because I changed the proportions of the smart object. But because coordinates of the original the perspective I are written in the layer, I can use fixed path to restore those coordinates. And then simply warp my layer back to the original coordinates. And now if I'm going to paint with symmetry using the coordinates of the inner circle as a base, uh, my beautiful drawing will lie perfectly in the perspective. Another addition in the perspective is an ability to unfold the whole image without creating a new smart object. For example, in this case, if I want to remove the perspective from the whole image, I just create two perspective grids, select a layer, and hit the perspective. And the whole image is flat now, so I can just cut pieces and use them as textures later. And the last addition to the perspective it's, is that it's possible now to kind of convert three points perspective to two points perspective, which means that it's going to try to convert the vertical perspective grid to a flat grid. And to do that, I need to have three grids. Two horizontal for X and for Z, and one vertical for Y. And you can easily define the Y grid with the color function. So when you have all three grids, you just select your layer and hit the perspective. And now the Y grid isn't distorted by perspective. And this sometimes makes life much easier. And of course, because this layer was the perspectified, this means that it still contains the information above the path that was used to the perspectify. So I can hit fixed path to restore the original path hit warp, and, the, and my image will be warped in the original perspective. That's it for this update. I hope you will find those functions useful. I use them quite a lot. So as always, if you have any questions, just let me know. And for the moment, I'm going to work a little bit on the updates for pressure Rutter, Script Rutter, and Taglit Rutter because they are ready and I really like them. And I just need to upload everything and make a video. Thank you for your support and uh, have a nice day.